always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello. It's so good to see you. Excuse me, Mr. Goose. Yes, Fox? I'm making up a game, and I need a rock. Fox, you just used the letter of the day. I did? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, which letter did I use? The letter R. R makes the sound er, in rock. Listen. Er, er, rock. Er, er, rock. Now you try. Er, er, rock. Well done. Let's look for a rock together. I see a rock over there. You're right. I heard the letter of the day again. Me too. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Thanks, Mr. Goose. I'll share my game when I'm done. Marvelous. In the meantime, here are more things that begin with R. Rain. Er, er. Rain. Rainbow. Er, er. Rainbow. Rabbit. Er, er. Rabbit. Rocks. Er, er. Rocks. Robot. Er, er. Robot. Rice. Er, er. Rice. What letter do all these words start with? 
That's right, the letters are. Hi, it's me, Pig. Let's do a letter dance. Say R. R. All right, say it again. R. Groovy. Let's dance. Better. together. Bye. Letter R. Letter R. What's that letter? letter R. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter R. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky. With clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. R. Terrific tracing. Now. Let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. R. Ah. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> It. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? R. Exactly. Uppercase R. And what's this letter? R. That's right. Lowercase R. Nice job. Wow. Wow. Cool. Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose! R! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called The Lost Laugh. In this story, Hyena loses his laugh. I wonder where it could be. Let's find out. Let's begin. The Lost Laugh. Written by Michelle Preen. Illustrated by Karen Lilja. Designed by Vilna Kombrink. Spotty the hyena is very sad. He has lost his laugh. Please help me find my laugh, giraffe. I can't hear a laugh up here. 
please help me find my laugh, Hippo. I can't hear a laugh down here. Please help me find my laugh, Warthog. I can't hear a laugh in here. Please help me find my laugh, Monkey. How did you lose it? When I laugh, you can see my big teeth. That makes everyone frightened, said Spotty. Then I got sad and my laugh just disappeared. I can't find it anywhere. But you were looking in the wrong place. Monkey jumped out of the tree and picked up a feather. Then she began to tickle Spotty all over. Slowly, Spotty started smiling, and then he let out a big, loud laugh. He laughed and laughed until he was rolling around on the ground. <laughs> All the other animals started laughing too. <laughs> Where did you find his laugh, they asked. His laugh was inside him all the time. I just made him happy, and out it came. <laughs> they all laughed and laughed so that their teeth showed too. I'll never lose my laugh again, said Spotty, the happy hyena. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing if you're happy and you know it. We don't know that song. Ah, you don't know it yet. I'll teach it to you. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Let's do all three. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! That was splendid. Frog. Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This 
This is purple. That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay! Here. Here. And here! Splendid! Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea! Okay! Here. 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 And here! Great! And what's left? Two red shapes! Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, monkey, you look very fancy. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> Peekaboo, <laughs> I see you. Peekaboo. <laughs> And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to look at the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under the chair. Frightened a little mouse under the chair.